it's not just athletes who are behaving badly. Movie stars and singers are also making a lot of headlines of late. Makes you wonder if all the fortune and fame is worth all that trouble. Paris Hilton, Kiefer Sutherland, Britney Spears, Charlie Sheen, Nicole Richie, Mel Gibson, and of course, Lindsay Lohan. We're coming down right now. We're being followed by a GMC. The gentleman okay. jumped out of the car. Yeah, and what did he do? It. Oh, my God, sir, they're following us. We need help. Oh. A 911 call from Michelle Peck, the mother of Lindsay's former personal assistant. Police found Peck and Lohan having a heated debate in a parking lot. Lohan took a field sobriety test and failed. Police also found a small amount of cocaine in the star's pocket. She was hauled off to jail. A few days later, she checked into rehab for the third time this year. And then there's the not-so-PC plays in D.C. Remember Monica's blue dress with a spinach dip? Congressman Foley paging the pages? Or Senator Larry Craig's little footsie folly in that men's room in Minneapolis, Minnesota at the airport? What's up with that? Just some of the recent political scandals to haunt Washington, D.C. Megan McCorkle asks, is it a new thing or does the public now have a salacious appetite? You've got mail. Internet indiscretions with underage boys. I am not gay. A bathroom two-step ends behind bars. Erotic fantasy service. And the list no one wanted to be on. A new Washington scandal hits headlines every week. There's so much corruption in Washington nowadays, it's hard to keep it private. What was once hush-hush, now splayed across TV screens for all to see. Scandals certainly aren't anything new in the nation's capital. In fact, Madame Tussauds Wax Museum in D.C. has an entire exhibit devoted to Washington scandals. Nixon had his Watergate nightmare. Happy birthday! Rumors swirled around Marilyn Monroe's special friendship with the Kennedy brothers. I did not have sexual relations with that woman. And, of course, it was President Bill Clinton that made Monica Lewinsky a household name. The Clinton-Lewinsky scandal certainly probably uh, was one of the largest. Since then, D.C. headlines look more like Hollywood tabloids, and people are hungry for those salacious stories. The more it is covered, the more people will want to tune in and say, well, what's the latest on, uh, on uh, Senator Craig? Or I want to hear the, the latest scuttlebutt. Tom Fitton, president of Judicial Watch, says it's about time political scandals were brought to light. Everyone knows there's been scandal in Washington. Everyone knows there's corruption in Washington. And there's been a buildup because the laws haven't been enforced, the ethics rules haven't been enforced for years and years. Lawmakers aren't above the law, says Fitton, and should be held accountable. In the past, maybe standards were a little bit lower. And in the past, rumors didn't spread with the click of a mouse. Lots and lots of the stories that end up uh, breaking on television just happened because the, the Internet rumor mill, sort of very low journalistic standards, uh, uh, gets things going. So, whether it's skeletons in your closet or piles of cash in your freezer, it could make front page news. Megan McCorkle, American Crossroads. Coming up on American.